So the problem is find the Fourier transform of f of x is equal to x into e to the power minus a modulus x. Okay, so we'll write the Fourier transform formula first. f of s is equal to minus infinity to infinity f of x e to the power i e s e x d x. Okay, so now let us look at the function f of x. So what is the function? f of x is equal to x into e to the power minus mod minus a modulus x. Okay, so what is the meaning of module x? x modulus x means plus x and minus x. Okay, I'll draw a diagram. Here the limit is minus infinity to infinity and I draw a center point 0. Okay, from 0 to infinity it is going to be the positive part and, from, and less than 0 it is going to be the negative part. Okay, so for modulus of x from 0 to infinity it is going to be plus x and below 0 it is going to be minus x. Fine. Now, I will rewrite this function directly by substituting the value of modulus. Okay. So, f of x is equal to, okay, it has two parts. One is x greater than or equal to 0. The other one is x less than 0. Okay. For greater than or equal to 0, it is going to be e to the power x into e to the power minus a. So, for greater than or equal to 0, it is going to be plus x. So, I put a plus x here. Fine. Similarly, for less than 0, it is going to be minus x. So, how do I rewrite this? f of x is equal to x into e to the power minus ax for x greater than or equal to 0 x into e to the power plus ax for x less than 0. Fine. Now I will draw a diagram here for this function f of x. Minus infinity to 0 and 0 to infinity. Okay. So from minus infinity to 0, so it is x less than 0. So here my f of x is x into e to the power e x. Okay. For 0 to infinity, that is x greater than or equal to 0, it is going to be f of x is x into e to the power minus ax. Okay, now we can start the form. Problem. So my limit is minus infinity to infinity, which is going to get split as minus infinity to 0, f of x, e to the power isx, dx, plus 0 to infinity f of x e to the power isx dx. Now, carefully look at this diagram and tell me what is f of x for minus infinity to 0 and 0 to infinity. First, for minus infinity to 0, my f of x is x into e to the power ax e to the power isx dx plus integral 0 to infinity. So look at the diagram and tell me for 0 to infinity what is f of x? For 0 to infinity my f of x is x into e to the power minus ax e to the power i s x dx. Clear? So like I told you before for any integration so like I told you before before solving any integration, first simplify it. Okay, so how do I simplify this? Minus infinity to 0. If I have something like this, e to the power a, e to the power b, then what can I do? I can add the powers a plus b. So that is what I'm going to do here. x into, I'm going to add the powers e to the power. What is common here? x is common. So a plus is and it is dx. Fine. Plus 0 to infinity x into e to the power. I am going to add the powers of these both. Okay. So e to the power. I take the minus sign outside. I have x common. So it becomes a minus is. Hope this is clear. See here. Minus a. Minus into minus is plus. So plus is. 
an x is common and I have my dx. Fine. Now I have to solve this integration. Okay. So to solve this integration, I cannot do directly. Okay. I have something called as Bernoulli's formula. So why is Bernoulli's formula used here? I have one variable and I have one term which is to the power of e. Okay. So if I have a variable and if I have something to the power of e, I can use Bernoulli's formula. Okay, I will do a separate video on teaching you how to do Bernoulli's method. Okay, now I will differentiate this using Bernoulli's. When I consider the first term, I consider x as u and e to the power term as v. So when I use Bernoulli's, I will write x as such. Okay, the v term I will integrate. So e to the power a plus i s into x by a plus i s minus i will differentiate the u term. So when I differentiate u, I will get that is x, I will get 1 and then what will I do? I will integrate this completely. So when I integrate e to the power a plus i s into x, I will get e to the power a plus i s into x by a plus i s. I already have an a plus i s here. So a plus i s. Fine. Plus when I differentiate 1, I will get 0. So I will stop with here. Okay. The limit is minus infinity to 0. Fine. Now let us go to this term. Here I will consider x as u and e to the power term as v. Okay, now we'll see how we are going to differentiate. See how are we going to use the Bernoulli's method. Okay, so first I will write x as such, then I will integrate v. When I integrate v, I will get e to the power minus a minus i s into x by minus a minus i s. Okay, minus. Now I will differentiate my u term. So it will become 1, fine, then e to the power minus a minus i s into x. When I integrate, I will get minus a minus i s in the denominator, fine. I already have minus a of minus of a minus i s here, so minus of a minus i s. So both are in the product form, okay. Just for us not to confuse, I'm putting the bracket. Okay, then what do I do? Then I differentiate this one. So when I differentiate one, I put a plus sign. I differentiate one, so I will get a zero. One is zero to infinity. So in the Bernoulli's, when you see the first term will be positive, the second term will be negative, the third term will be positive, the fourth term will be negative. It goes on. You will continue until you get zero. Fine. Now let's simplify this. Before substituting the limit, let us simplify this x into e to the power a plus i s into x by a plus i s minus e to the power a plus i s into x by a plus i s the whole square minus infinity to 0 plus x into, I have a minus sign here, so I put the minus in the front, e to the power minus a minus i s into x by a minus i s by minus e to the power minus a minus i s into x by minus into minus is plus, so plus a minus i s the whole square. The limit is 0 to infinity. Okay, so now directly we can apply the limit. Okay, to apply the limit, we need to know two things. e to the power 0 is 1, e to the power minus infinity is 0. So using these two things, we can easily solve this. Okay, so first here, I will substitute the upper limit. So what is my upper limit? My upper limit is 0. So when I have x, I will substitute this 0. Okay. 
So first in this term, when I substitute 0, what will I get? When I substitute 0 for x, it becomes 0. 0 into anything else is 0. Fine. Minus. So when I substitute 0 here, what I will get? e to the power. a plus i is into 0 is 0. So 0. a plus i here. Okay. We very well know that e to the power 0 is 1. So directly what I am going to do is, I am going to substitute 1 here. Minus 1 a plus i is the whole square. Why is this 1? Because e to the power 0 is 1. This is my upper limit. Minus. Now I come to the lower limit. What is my lower limit? My lower limit is minus infinity. So when I substitute for x, when I substitute minus infinity, it becomes e to the power minus infinity. I clearly know e to the power minus infinity is 0. So it is 0 minus. So here also, in the second term, instead of x, when I substitute minus infinity, it becomes e to the power minus infinity. So this also becomes 0. So why is it 0? Because e to the power minus infinity is 0. Okay, the first term is over. Now let's come to the second term. Here again, okay, the upper limit is minus infinity. So when I substitute minus infinity, it becomes e to the power of minus infinity. So first term becomes 0. Yes. The second term also becomes 0 because e to the power minus infinity is 0. Yes? Now, minus, upper limit is over, the lower limit, okay, it is 0. So, first when I substitute 0 here, x into 0, it becomes 0. So, it becomes 0. <laughs> 0 minus, okay. Then when I substitute 0 here, it becomes e to the power 0 by a minus i is the whole square. Okay. So here what we are doing for this particular term, I am substituting infinity here. When I substitute infinity, I have a minus sign in the front. So it becomes e to the power minus infinity. So e to the power minus infinity is 0. Okay. You have any doubts, you can ask me. So here, this is 0. So what is remaining? Minus 1 by a plus i s, the whole square is remaining. Okay, we leave out this, we leave out this. What I have here, I have minus here, I have a minus sign inside. So minus into minus becomes plus. So what is e to the power 0? e to the power 0 is 1. a minus i s, the whole square. Clear? So now I take LCM. So when I take LCM, a plus i s the whole square into a minus i s the whole square. So the first term I have a plus i s, I don't have a minus i s, so it is minus of a minus i s the whole square. Plus for this term, I have a minus i s in the denominator, I don't have a plus i s, so it is a plus i s the whole square. Fine. So now I have to solve both. So first let me solve the numerator. So what is my numerator? Minus of a minus i s the whole square plus a plus i s the whole square. Okay. So it is a square plus i square s square minus 2 i a s plus a square plus i square s square plus 2 i a s. I take this minus sign inside. So, minus a square minus i square s square plus 2 i a s plus a square minus plus, I'm sorry, plus i square s square plus 2 i a s. So, what happens? a square plus a square and minus a square gets cancelled. Plus i square s square and minus i square s square gets cancelled. So, what I will get? I will get. 4 i e s. This is my numerator. Fine. Coming to the denominator, what do I have in the denominator? a plus i s the whole square into a minus i s the whole square. It is like a plus b the whole square into a minus b the whole square. So what is a plus b the whole square into a minus b the whole square? It is a square minus b square 
the whole square. Okay, it is a square minus b square the whole square. Okay, so what is a here? A is a only. What is b? b is i s. Okay, so it becomes a square minus i s the whole square power of 2. Okay, so a square minus i square s square the whole square. What is the value of i square? The value of i square is minus 1. So it is a square minus into minus becomes plus. So a square plus s square the whole square. So here in the numerator I have 4 i a s and in the denominator I have a square plus s square the whole square. This is my f of s. You have any doubts? You can ask me.